and the royal family. When the son of a president is getting married, we can easily call it a presidential wedding. But when he's getting married to a princess, it can be best described as a grand measure of presidency and royalty. And this is exactly what Nigerians witnessed on Friday, August 20 of 2021, as Yusuf Buhari, the only surviving son of Nigeria's president, Muhammad Buhari, got married to Zara Adobayero, the gorgeous 20-year-old daughter of the Emir of Bichi, Nasir Adobayero. The pre-wedding festivities which kicked off in July of 2021 have been the talk of the town as party after party took place in preparation for the big day. The main wedding fatiha took place at Bichi Central Mastid, followed by a reception at the Bichi's Palace in Kano. The whole of Abuja and Kano was at a standstill. Over 100 private jets landed in Kano, with all five-star hotels in the state reportedly fully booked. The wedding was heavily graced by the presence of top government officials and politicians. Nonetheless, the wedding festivities went on smoothly as it saw the lavish show of wealth from the expensive wares of the couple to the decor, luxury cars, expensive souvenirs including iPhone 12 and tablets which made the wedding a night to remember. Even the driver of the groomsman was equally not left out as he got a whooping 500,000 naira cash for just being the driver. So, in full detail, what went down at the grand event which the Emir of Bichi inaugurated with a 145-man committee that facilitated the each free wedding fatia. As if that wasn't enough, President Buhari sent a delegate led by his chief of staff to join in preparations in Kano. Does it qualify as the wedding of the year? <laughs> Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Leads. Yusuf Buhari is the only surviving son of President Muhammad Buhari. He completed his primary and secondary school education in Katina International School, British School of Law, and Bellybay College before proceeding to the University of Surrey, Guildford, the UK, for his undergraduate studies in 2016. Ever since, he has been living in Abuja. Yusuf, unlike his sisters, shies away from the press and very little is known about him, including his age. However, in 2017, he made headlines after being involved in a ghastly bike accident around Guarimpa, Abuja, that almost claimed his life. He sustained a head injury and broken limb. He was first stabilized in a Nigerian hospital before being flown to Germany for further treatment where he gained full recovery. His mother, Aisha Buhari, described his recovery as nothing short of a miracle. What the young man does for a living is another grey area. However, rumors have it that Yusuf owns five-star hotels in Abuja and Dubai and word on the street has it that he is still amassing more. While the beautiful bride, Zara Adobayero, is the daughter of Nasir Adobayero, the Emir of Bichi Kano State, the 20-year-old Kano princess is a student of the University of Surrey in the UK, studying architecture. Many have been asking if Yusuf and Zara have a love story because they don't look so madly in love, while the couple met at the University of Surrey where they both studied and started as friends. Along the line, they fell in love and couldn't even wait for Zara, who is in her final year in the university, to graduate before saying I do. Speaking about his daughter's wedding, the Emir of Bichi, Nasir Ado Bayero, who sits as chairman of the Board of Nine Mobile, said he wished his daughter completed her studies before marriage to Yusuf. He wished he had more time to spend with her after her graduate studies. However, the Bichi Emirate noted it took solace from the hadith that says, When you successfully raise three daughters and marry them off, Allah will give you a place in paradise. The wedding preparation started in 2020 after the groom's parents met with the parents of the bride to express interest in marrying Zara. Of course, they agreed and the wedding was supposed to have followed immediately. Still, for the absence of Aisha Buhari, the first lady and groom's mother who was not in the country at the time, preparations, however, commenced in full gear after she returned from a medical trip to Dubai. Regardless of the pandemic, the pre-wedding festivities kicked off in July of 2021 with a polo match, among others. On August 3rd, Zara got glammed up for a private bridal shower in Abuja, attended by close friends and family. Of course, the Frozen themed party tagged hashtag the beginning of YZ stirred up controversy after the Kano princess rocked a western styled white dress for the event. 
While the president's daughter-in-law enjoyed a bridal shower, the aftermath was certainly not what she was expecting. Immediately, photos of the party went viral. The 20-year-old was slammed by Arewa Twitter, who also called the attention of Kano Hishba police over her dress they called inappropriate because of her uncovered hairstyle and see-through laced shoulder white dress. Responding to critics during an interview with BBC Pigeon, Hishba commander in Kano told them that Zara Bayero is not above the law and failed to set a good example to other Muslims. He also prohibited the sharing of Zara's bridal shower photos, calling it a scene. After the bridal shower, the beauty again attended a premarital coaching session where she had donned another western-styled white dress. Although she seemed to have chosen a more modest dress, it looked no less gorgeous. She attended the coaching session in the company of a few family members and friends. Bringing the pre-wedding festivities to a halt, the couple held a special pre-wedding dinner on Thursday, August 19, in GRA Kano, ahead of the D-Day. It was attended only by close family and friends of the couple and the 1% of the 1% of the country. Finally, the main wedding kicked off on August 20, 2021 with the wedding fatia at Beachy Central Mastid, followed by the Emir of Beachy's Palace reception. Putting the country on a standstill, Nigerians witnessed the union of royalty as the couple took the love oath and said, I do. From the grooms and brides' expensive traditional wear to their reception dresses as well as the decor, the wedding has so far been rated the grandest event of the year. The Fulani wedding was heavily greeted by security personnel and had a long list of prominent guests. It is no wonder over 100 private jets landed at the Aminu Kano International Airport with all five-star hotels in the state fully booked. Abuja and Kano also experienced traffic congestion over the event and people could hardly find any flights to Kano and Abuja. Crowds campered to catch a glimpse of President Buhari and other prominent politicians. Governors and politicians of the ruling party, APC, and opposition parties stomped the event in droves. Former governors, National Assembly members, traditional and religious leaders, and politicians from corners of Nigeria were also present to witness the union. The Senate President, Ahmad Lawan, former President, Good Luck Jonathan, and Gambia First Lady were present. Shockingly, many Nigerians were shocked to see Buhari's number one critic, Femi Fani Kayode, at the event. But that's a story for another day. Former Vice President and 2023 Presidential Aspirant on the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, stood as the groom's father. Minister of Communication and Digital Economy, Sheikh Issa Pantami, officiated the wedding procession, which saw 500,000 Naira paid as dowry. President Buhari's nephew, Maman Daura, stood as representative of the groom. Business mogul, Aminu Dantata, stood as representative of the bride. The festivities closed with performances from top musicians, including Mayo Kun and Star Plus. The wedding has elicited mixed reactions from Nigerians, many of whom could not help commenting on the lavish show of wealth, which they described as wasteful spending of public funds. What do you think about the glit and glamorous royal wedding between the Kano princess, Zara Bayero, and the president's son, Yusuf Buhari? Would you say it is worth the hype? Do you agree it is the most beautiful wedding and grandest event of the year 2021?